Secluded and silent in the rooms once occupied by the friars of St. Francis, the Malatesta Library is one of the most renowned monuments of Cesena, the symbol of its cultural identity. It is the only perfectly preserved 15th century library, a magnificent example of harmony in form and proportions. Thanks to the far-sightedness of its founder, Novello Malatesta, who entrusted it to the municipal authorities, the Malatesta Library has passed through more than five centuries of history, intact and untouched, while other vast libraries were scattered or transformed. Crowning the tympanum of the imposing portal, finely sculpted by Cristoforo da San Giovanni in Pesecito, is an elephant, the symbol of the Malatesta family. It ironically warns that the Indian elephant does not fear mosquitoes, comparing the Malatesta family to the elephant and their enemies to mosquitoes. As we cross the threshold, we are immediately transported into an atmosphere remote in time. The harmony of the ancient architecture still surprises and moves us giving the impression of standing in a miniature church. The triple nave plan is wholly innovative. All three ceilings are vaulted, the central vault barreled, with slightly wider and lower cross vaults to the sides. The light entering through the side windows spreads along the side naves thanks to a complex distribution of the sources of light, while the great oculus on the end wall illuminates the length of the central nave flanked by two rows of elegant columns. The colours of the Malatesta coats of arms, carved and painted on the sides of every reading bench, recall the hues of the architecture. The red of the terracotta floor and the semi-columns, the white of the median columns, and above all, the green of the plasterwork. The atmosphere, the elegance of the forms, the choice of the colours and the beams of light are all elements that contribute to creating the unchanging charm of the Malatesta Library, which is both modern and ancient, aristocratic but never solemn. The remarkable preservation of this place and its fascinating history make the library the pulsing heart of the intellectual and cultural life of the town a symbol that is experienced and loved with exceptional faithfulness by the people of Cesena. From 1431 to 1465, Malatesta Novello, Lord of Cesena, was the promoter of the constructional and urban reorganization of the town that culminated in the construction of the library. The illegitimate son of Pandolfo III and Antonia da Baregnano, Domenico Malatesta was born in 1418 at the peak of the Malatesta power. When their dominion extended from Marche to the provinces of Bergamo and Brescia, historians place the start of the work on the library around 1447 and it was certainly completed in 1452, the year carved on the frame of the plaque that celebrates Matteo Nuti as he who brought such an opus into being. But the Malatesta Library was only inaugurated on August the 15th, 1454, a solemn and festive day for the town as we read on the wooden door. The splendid and innovative architectural design, which led to conjectures that Leon Battista Alberti had been involved in the project, takes its inspiration from a model inaugurated just a few years earlier by Michelozzo in Florence at the Monastery of San Marco. The library celebrates the glory of the prince and his family. Malatesta coats of arms and emblems are everywhere. Apart from the portal, they are also in the hall, on the benches, on the capitals, on the plaques that incessantly recall the name of Novello Malatesta, even in the pages of the illuminated texts. The care with which the nobleman supervised the library collection is well known. He personally oversaw the illustration and the correctness of the texts. In fact, apart from the volumes already owned by the Monastery of St. Francis, the nobleman included an important collection of manuscripts copied by the scribes who worked in the writing room he'd specially organized for them. During 20 years, the laboratory produced around 130 codices, 
mainly written in litera script. Working alongside the copyists, a workshop of illuminators produced the decorative and figurative parts that embellish the texts, with portraits of illustrious men from ancient times, the fathers of the church, or simple white vine stems or natural motifs. Malatesta Novello declared his role as promoter, instructing that each initial page of every codex should bear his richly and antiquely decorated coat of arms and the initials MN depicted in gold or other colours on a rectangular gold leaf background. The gift of the manuscripts by the Rimini-born Giovanni Di Marco, Novello Malatesta's physician, completed the collection, already rich with works of theology, Latin and Greek classics, patristics, texts on medicine, science, literature and philosophy. 343 volumes date from the 9th to the 15th centuries, all in Latin, Greek and Hebrew, and currently bound with the characteristic 15th century chains to the desks of the Malatesta Library. The nobleman's instructions regarding the future of his library were also original and innovative. In fact, he established that it should not only be entrusted to the care of the friars, but also placed under the protection of the town council, which alone could guarantee its integrity and avoid the dispersal of his bequest. Thanks to its extraordinary state of preservation, in June 2005, UNESCO included the Malatesta Library in the memory of the World Register, a program started in 1992 to safeguard humanity's documentary heritage. Piana is the name commonly given to the personal library of the Cesena-born Pope Pius VII, Barnaba Chiaramonti, located in the large hall facing the Malatesta Library, which partly corresponds to the ancient dormitory of the Friars Minor. It was placed here in 1868, when the local council, enacting the law on the dissolution of the religious congregations, confiscated it from the Abbey of Santa Maria del Monte. The Pope himself had donated the library to the Abbey in memory of his first novitiate. With magnificent papal bindings and gilded coats of arms, the collection comprises more than 5,000 volumes, including rare and precious manuscripts and volumes. However, Pius VII was neither a bibliophile nor a collector. He was passionately interested in archaeology, numismatics and art, which he protected with laws that are still fundamental today. These interests are reflected in the library, which is also rich with volumes on theological, biblical, medical, scientific subjects and classical literature. Thanks to the tremendous variety of the volumes held there, the piano is the ideal representation of a sort of history of the book and of writings. It ranges from the medieval forms and the first period of cohabitation between printed books and manuscripts to the triumph of printing and distinctive 19th century typographical works and so it contributes to creating, together with the Malatista Library, an extraordinary and composite bibliographical monument. In the hall that houses the piano, we can admire two important liturgical series. The eight choir books donated by the Cardinal Bessarioni to the Cesena Monastery de Lozovanza in the mid-15th century and the seven choir books from the Duomo commissioned at the end of the century by the Bishop's See. The decoration is magnificent and sumptuous, the fruit of decades of work in the most important illuminators' workshops in Bologna, Ferrara and Romagna. <laughs> 